All right, well, let's get right back into this now, shall we? Last time we left up Moodvig and Tail, starting their new lives out here in the tundra. And first thing I want to do first is I want to open up this space. Uh, this 3x4 space and, well, I want to try growing crops in here. I don't know how much roof you can remove until you lose the benefit of it being indoors. But we could try growing crops inside, and I think trying to do that might be one of our best bets. However, I also want to get rid of all this meat, this muffalo meat we got before it goes bad. Tail is out here still harvesting on trees. I forgot to look up uh, a name to translate to Dwarvis, so... Oh well, that'll just have to happen later on. But yeah. Uh, I want to try and get some of the stuff done, so I'm gonna tell Moodvig to stop, or not refuel, the campfire. Although, to be fair, he's probably gonna get all this cooking done before that point. And we still got the berry bushes, although... I don't know if that's just due to low skill, low luck, because it is fall out here in the tundra. It's very cold. Also, if you're gonna come back this way, can you, like, bring some of this wood back with you? You can only carry 30 for whatever reason. I'm guessing that's the alcohol with straw, like, coming into effect, but hopefully that should go away soon enough. And yeah, it's... Getting close to freezing inside, which is good. That means the food in there is going to last a lot longer. That also means our base is getting kind of cold. I think I want to get this stuff done, but I want to make sure he has his recreation up. I don't need him going on a mental break because he didn't get his he didn't get his five minutes of just staring at a wall. Yes, we look, we see that we got about five hours left, so five hours, six hours, it's, it goes up and down between how cold it is outside, because that room doesn't get too much heat from the campfire or from the steam geyser, and even then, the steam geyser and, all, and the campfire only do so much. Okay, with only eight things of food left, hey, 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 hey. I said it was only eight things of food of meat left. I'm not going to worry about that. Go to bed, Moodvig. Yeah, unfortunately that muffalo meat, yeah, just went away, but oh well. It was only eight pieces. That would have been one extra meal. I think we'll be fine. Especially if there's a chance that Tail can find some more berries out and about. Plus we have a good amount of meals. And again, we should be able to grow rice. So everything should in crows be fine. I'm going to reject them. I feel like having two people right now is enough. Getting a third will just probably make Randy send in a uh, better... Or bigger and stronger raids. And we already dealt with two of them. We dealt with one. I think we dealt with one in summer. Yeah, no, it's still. Yeah, I think we dealt with two in summer. One in the beginning, one near the end. So I'm afraid we're going to get another one raid coming up soon in fall. Uh, like we, get, we get a negative three mood debuff for. It, but that's very easy just to deal with, so we're fine. Now, I'm gonna, again, tell him, tear down the roof, build the, uh, yeah, tear down the roof, grow the crops. As long as it's staying fine inside, also getting that door built. And yeah, 12 tiles are gone, but it's still like 70 degrees inside. So yes, this plan of growing crops indoors is definitely gonna be fine. Also, we got some more wood out and about from what Tail chopped down, so that's also helping us out. But Vic is also healed up, so that's good. Don't have to deal with him being slow or carrying less or anything. And yeah, I would say things are a little bit peaceful now. We got about, what, 20 meals? So, I mean, how, how long is that really going to last us? Like, five days? Uh, hopefully the rice can last a little bit longer. Also, was it getting cold outside? Having Moodvig out and about may not be the best option. Considering he doesn't have a parker like Tail does, and even then, Tail's parker's not even all that great either. Yeah, you can just really see that alcohol with straw just really affecting all. 
Like, I feel like she should be a little bit faster, but for whatever reason, she's not. And yeah, we are dealing with hypothermia. It's only shivering right now. But considering we're only in September and we still have to get through Decemberary, that's gonna be a little while. Also, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I'm gonna have them go over the way to open up the door so that their bedroom can get a little bit warmer. I mean, it's barely above freezing. But it's above freezing, so... That should hopefully counteract some hypothermia. Campfire's about to go out, but yeah, we can already see the crops are growing. 10% in that, like, I'm pretty sure that was just one day. Oh, and getting some lovin', so there we go. We just counteracted that negative 3 debuff of rejecting a new colonist. But it is getting cold. Again, that steam geyser is great for heat, but it will only do so much. So, it does seem like we're gonna need heat to survive the winter. Now, it's, the cold isn't really killing the rice right now, but uh, I, I need, I want it to be at least warm enough so that it's not slowing down. And I'm thinking whether or not I want to bring those blocks in or not. But uh, this was probably the best thing to do right now. Let's move the research bench. We don't really need that room right now. And Moodvig can actually get some of the research done, which is good because, well, there's going to be a lot of research that needs to get done eventually. Um, no, we're not going for electricity. It's a little bit too early for that, I would say. Making sure I got Moodvig's priority set. Got a couple of, we got a good number of trees, so I don't think we're going to be short on firewood. Want to get complex furniture, get them a bed so they're off the floor because... If we get injured, probably gonna want a bed. A sleeping wall would also be nice, but I don't think I have enough wool for that. We're gonna need a fair amount. Let alone, I would also like to make a double bed so that they can both sleep into it, so they can get that hole, get some loving. Okay, these trees are good, so let's get them chopped down. Extra firewood is not a bad thing to have. Depending on how things go, you might have to barricade ourselves indoor, depending on how cold the winter gets. Also, carry all the berries. Jesus. Like, I get it, you're making a meal, but, like, take the extra berries with you. There's no reason not to take them. Okay. Uh, we got a, we got a rabbit. Not a whole lot of meat, not a whole lot of fur, but, I mean, it's hunting experience, I guess. So... Yeah, we, we're, gonna, we're gonna want all the archery skill that we can get. She does have a passion for it. Uh, she gets about 60 points a shot, so... Oh my god, that's a lot of shots. That, that's what, 100 shots? Yeah, I think that's 100 shots just to get her up to the next level, but I don't need her shooting all night. Bring home the berries, and just get home. Yeah, 23. So we get about 10% a day. We still have 20 meals left. So maybe we don't eat them as fast. And I thought we did? Oh, I don't know that again. He also made an extra meal or two, so... Uh, I don't know, because we're also not going to get the most amount of rice. This could be bad. Okay, she's up to 90. That's good. Alcohol withdrawal is definitely, like, killing the mood, but... Uh, you'll be over that sooner rather than later, so that's fine. <clears throat> and when you get that out of the way, you'll be just an ordinary pawn at that point. Okay, is that dealing with hypothermia? That's good. Although, it is cold outside. And I think we want to double up the wall in this room. The reason for that being it will create extra insulation, so we're not losing as much heat. We do need to move the buttering table, but that's fine. So hopefully, hopefully if we do this... Because if this is bad now, it's going to get worse in winter. So hopefully this extra walling 
can make a difference between surviving the winter and not. It does mean I have less firewood to uh, work with, but... I mean, there are more trees out there. I did tell the cut. Oh, we got a raid. The claimant men have arrived, and yeah, they will prepare. Okay, tail. Uh, immediately forget the hair. Come back home. We have time because he's not attacking right away. And the arrow looks like one is just one. A man with a knife. I'm oh, sorry, a woman with a knife. Who has a six in melee with a passion. Which is better than either of my guy's stuff. So, my skills. Uh, I mean, it's only one, so hopefully that shouldn't be too bad. That six in melee has me a little scared. But again, it's a two-on-one. It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, speed things up. Tail's almost back home, so... Tail will definitely be back before the fighting begins, so that's good. I'm, I'm trying to think of what to do. I think I'm going to try and lure them in. Um, we're going to use uh, the bow that Tail has to essentially try to attack from range. And then uh, come inside, grab the mace, and then we'll just kind of team up with the axe and the... with the axe and the mace. Okay, on their way. Let's get these two out here. Keep pinging the wrong buttons. Okay, that's, that's, that's close enough. Okay, you two out here. Okay, tail. Let's see how your shooting skill has gone. Oh, that was close. Also, let's get that door open. One more. No. Ah, oh, shit. No good hits. Okay, you got the mace, you got the axe. And the fighting begins. Oh, and she gets the first hit. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, I don't think Tail did anything in that fight, really, unfortunately. Um, okay, they're still, they're down, so that damage, the knife is throwing me off. So, yeah, they're still alive, barely even bleeding. Let's strip them of their clothes so that, because I'm pretty sure I saw them having a parka. Uh, meanwhile, ooh, Moodvig, Moodvig really got hit hard out there, jeez. Uh, let's get that pocket now. He really needs, uh... The extra insulation, I think, is definitely good. And then we'll get him healed up. Well, make a present. I don't plan on keeping you, but I feel like you're just free experience at this point for medical, which I'm sure my guys can use desperately. Okay. Uh, I think I want to save the medicine. But yeah, okay, this is bad. Five hours, that's still plenty of time to get healed up, especially if that first wound in the neck of all places. Oh my god, the neck, the head, the left ear. Dang, D was out for blood. Speaking of blood, it's going all over the place. But we definitely won't die from blood loss. Okay, no, we definitely won't. It's just, can we prevent an infection? Which has me scared considering we're on the ground, and these are pretty terrible tent. Yeah. Oh my god, these are awful, awful tens. Okay, Mudvig, I'm gonna have you clean up the blood off the ground. Okay, with any luck, we'll be fine. You... Gotta be kidding me. Come on, no! Oh my god. We need to get healed. No, 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 not, not them, not them. We are not wasting that stuff on them. No, don't... Oh my god. Uh, go to bed. Moodvig, go to bed. Tail, immediately tend to Moodvig. Oh my god, 
God, she's so slow at healing. Oh my god, oh my god, no! How were you so terrible with... You got a zero! You got a zero with medicine! Oh, oh, no, 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 I need a good tending next. If I put him in here, hopefully the lighting will be better, but oh my god. No. 27 to 22, 28 to 23. The infection is writhing faster than the immunity is. Oh no, oh no, tail! And also mood big, oh. Oh, good, a quest. That's, uh, that's exactly what I want right now, Randy. Thank you. Ugh. Oh. Join two men. I don't care right now. I mean, maybe they could be a great doctor, but I don't know. Because this could be the end of the colony, right? This is probably is the end of the colony. You only have a level one in medicine. Okay, Diaz died. That's fine. I wasn't planning on keeping them anyways. Again, they were just free experience. Oh no. Feet. Oh no, no, wait, 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 wait. Tend? I thought it was still. Okay, no, 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 it can be tended now. Okay. Uh, cancel that. Tend to him. Tend to him, then feed him. Oh, Tail, please, please. I'm not asking for a hundred. I'm just asking for something good. Please, please, please. Oh, come on! Come on! I know you have, like, next to no skill, but you have the light, you have the medicine. Oh, my God, no! Come on, Randy! Oh, why do you have to be like this? Why? Yeah, 80 to 66, 67, he's, he's not making it. And this was Mudvig's tale. The tale of the lone dwarf who went out on his own. So, yeah, that's where I'm unfortunately going to call it. I'm not continuing the series. The series was meant for the lone dwarf, and, well, the lone dwarf is about to die in, like, three endgame hours, so... <sighs> well, I was hoping to make it much further than this. Only, like, an hour and 20 minutes into the game. And with that, he died. Mudvig has died. The last event in his life was that he attacked D. D attacked him. He uh, collapsed due to the infection, and he has died. Leaving his fiancé tail al alone in the tundra. Surrounded by two corpses. Minus 18 because of the death of a fiancé. Minus 10 for the death of a friend. Combined with the alcohol addiction that was just about to go away. Well, I would say that calls for a smoke joint. As again, this is the end, unfortunately. So, until next time, as tail goes down and needs rescue, goodbye.